biggest mistake of your life. Let me tell you something. I don't care who I got to go through. I don't care who runs this promotion. It needs to be me and you in this ring once and for all, or I'm going to see you. He's got a, oh, it's a million dollar dream. It's that, it's that sleeper hold. That could be it. And he's got, now he's got him down and his legs are like, it could be it. And Scrapyard Dog rebounds off his AIW at Mid-Atlantic title loss with a submission victory over Mr. Everything, Victor Andrews. He ducked under the clothesline, though. Off the ropes and, oh, right into a boot. And here we go. Here comes the gut buster. And up he goes. And down. Oh. That'll be it. That should be it. Oh, one, two, three. That'll be it. That'll do it. He That's can. all. Wow. Thanks to Notorious. A three on one attack. This is despicable. Hey, people, how you doing, man? Boogie Woogie Man here. Leisure Time Rental, man, Mount Airy, North Carolina. Everybody talking about Leisure Time Rental. So the Boogie Man come up to Mayberry, North Cackalacka to see what's up. Come on, let's see how this place is, man. At Leisure Time, we have quality brand name furniture for your entire home at unbeatable prices. And as always, there's no credit check. Also, free delivery and setup are available. So the next time you need furniture, appliances, electronics, or computers, go to the company that was born right here in North Carolina. Our friendly staff is ready to approve you today. Leisure Time, get what you want at a price you can afford. Still looking for that perfect pet? Stop by Mayberry Pet Center, located on West Pine Street, downtown Mount Airy. Fish, reptiles, hamsters, gerbils, guinea pigs, ferrets, chinchillas, feeder mice, both fresh and frozen. We also do special orders. The only location between Mount Airy and Winston that has all your saltwater fish and supplies. Mayberry Pet Center is the only authorized dealer in North Carolina to carry and stock acrylic tank manufacturing products from the show Tank on Animal Planet. Hi. I'm Jenny Jannetty, and whenever I'm in Mount Airy, I make a point to come down to Suntan Magic. With our friendly staff and environment, a full selection of tanning lotions and moisturizers, and nine beds, Suntan Magic is the place to tan in Mount Airy at 422 East Pine Street, 786-1325. Open Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Fridays, 930 to 8, Wednesdays, 930 to 630, and Saturdays, 10 to 4. When it comes to tanning, there's only one number that Jenny has. Don't forget that Suntan Magic. I got a lot of things on my mind. I got a lot of things I want to say. They only give me just a little bit of time to do this. I think we're here two weeks ago for Friday night. Me! Well, if you were here, you've seen what happened. And for those that weren't here, I'm going to tell you what happened. You notice these spots in these ring, the majority of that blood is for myself and Scrapyard Dog in the backyard brawl. The backyard alley brawl match, whatever they call it. We went from that end to that end, that side to that side, tooth and nail. I had Scrapyard beat right here in the middle of this ring. And guess what? Like your MO, the old school mafia, here comes Matt Houston. Matt Houston got a little taste of Saco. And then here comes Drake Thompson. And then Foley got a little taste of the taste. Oh, you've ever been here with a taser, but it feels like to be electrocuted, but it don't feel real good. 
then the three men decided at that point in time to beat me and scrub your dog one that match. That's fine. I'm not complaining. I'm not crying about losing the match. I've lost many. And if I keep doing this, I imagine I'll lose a few more. But I come to AIWF for one reason and one reason only. And that's to get the old school mafia out of this freaking building. And if you noticed on the poster, I noticed that Scrapyard Dog's not here. And I noticed that Drake Tungsten's not here. I haven't seen Matt Houston. But I do know Rick Beast is here. And I've got a little surprise for him. I've had two weeks to be able to talk and make phone calls. So Mr. Diesel, if you got a pair, I bet see if you make yourself present in the middle of this ring. because I'm going to get you, Rich Diesel. Yeah. 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 So it's either a or a Are you scared? Oh. You scared? Are you scared? Okay. If you're bound and determined to be inside a cage and scrap your dog, I guess I can allow it. Well, that was yeah, because you don't
and you can have scrapyard dog or he can have you. But you got to make it to the cage first. And let's start that right now because I made, hey, bring me my friend down here. Stephen Hayes from the Tennessee area, former AIWF world champion, here to try to collect the bounty that Rick Diesel has put on Dick Foley's head for the cage match coming up December 15th. Now, uh, Stephen Hayes, a, a really tough Stephen Hayes. He's down about 40 pounds. Great shape. In much better shape. And he looks like he had the lines with the old game off, at least for purposes of trying to take Dick Foley out. And now it's uh, Stephen Hayes. Oh, you can follow him on Twitter and Omega Hayes. I don't yep. know where that came from. But anyway, he's out on the panel and he's pounding away on Dick Foley. With, uh, referee yep. Red Jones will be interested by himself. Oh, Lord. Oh, and Red Hayes. And uh, right hand by Foley. And he's got himself a bowling chair. As luck would have. And now. Uh, Okay, yep. Stephen Hayes is back and just takes him some chairs. Yep. Stephen Hayes is back. Now, has the match officially started? He hasn't oh, had single for the bell, but I guess, you know, the way they started the match. By Stephen Hayes and now Damian Arcane uh, to provide some encouragement. The young Stephen Hayes. Yep. Uh -oh, and now Stephen he's Hayes. Hayes unraveling that tape. And now he's got that tape wrapped right around Nick Foley's neck, and he's just going to choke him out. Meanwhile, referee Red Jones, uh, not even. Oh, he got the kendo stick I didn't know there was a, Apparently, there was a kendo stick under the ring. Yeah, precisely that yeah. possibility, and yep. Stephen Hayes just ate it. Foley oh, yeah. in the midsection. Foley always has his toys oh. hid somewhere in the building. Foley just going to lay the boots to Stephen Hayes after Stephen Hayes took a kendo stick to the head. Right hand by Foley and down goes Stephen Hayes. Now he's getting on the red by something. He's, like, he's telling told, uh, Darren, referee Red Jones to stay there and he's down. Oh, got a bungee strap. A bungee strap. Yeah. Diesel, check the ears and David Arcane on the other side of the ring, not oh. able to get the Hayes to render the aid if they wanted to. Foley's yeah. doing an excellent job keeping his eyes open, he's making sure oh, yeah, he's Arcane watching. and Katie Anderson stay away. But right now, Stephen Hayes is getting back to his feet. Oh, and he's got a kind of oh, stick. He got, don't he's really measuring his feet behind. Here we go, and the next. In full view of the referee, referee. Well, apparently, refs just, you know, yeah, I guess he knows these two, you know, they're known for the ball, and I guess he's decided he's just going to let them have an all out, anything goes match here. I guess they let it go. Oh, yeah. And as far as I know, he hasn't called for a belt. Uh uh. Yeah. Stephen Hayes now is still has yep. Dick Foley out on, on the concrete floor. Foley's looking at Oh, Foley got the pizza pan right to the face! Apparently he brought some cookware as well. Oh, yeah. I guess it's all the stuff him and Scrap had left over from their backyard ball here. Yes, yeah. So, uh, I had to tell you, Kingfish, is the match going to actually take place? Uh, I guess at some point. I kind of hope so. Let them fight. Oh, yeah, I see it. Fight, yeah. yeah. Although, the whole idea is they want to take Dick Foley out of action before season's beat. Yeah, that's what they're trying to do. Oh, he got him on throw sign now. Uh oh. And what does that sign say? It says pain. Oh, that's apparently Stephen Hayes right now tell you it says pain. It says uh, something. Stephen Hayes is rethinking his uh, decision-making ability. Yeah. 
throwing in with Purdue on the I don't know how much how many out. zeros is on that check that Rick Diesel plans to write, but I don't think there are enough. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Or at least on the right side of the decimal. Oh yeah. <laughs> I gotta tell you, Campus, I, 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 at some point I, I think that a match is going to take place. I heard up there is no. I really smell Stephen Hayes. Yeah. Oh, Stephen Hayes said, you know, uh -oh. I'm, uh, I've had enough. And J.D. Anderson and David Arcane are now double teaming with Dick Foley. He's distracting the ref. Don't know why they're really trying to distract the ref. He's letting everything else happen. I, I too have an improper vantage point for what's taking place. Oh, they just got him on the floor, beating him with the pans and putting the boots to him. Uh, Typical uh, old school mafia tactics. Uh, Ray Jones is apparently just standing there for decoration. Oh, yeah. Give me instructions from Diesel. And now we're going to ring the bell. All right, now we're going to start the match. I guess uh, five five minutes get, and get rid of all your toys. Oh, oh, that's a ball. Call the ball by Foley and Hayes. Yeah. <laughs> 
out about quality in 2136 Rockford Street in Mount Airy, North Carolina, phone number 336-789-2000 or qualityin.com.